My name is Maddox. This is how I talk. And uh, King Critic's gonna explain which parts of this video he thinks are accurate and which are not. Subscribe to him, by the way. He's really awesome. Subscribe to King Critic. The podcast didn't end because of creative differences. This is a conversation Dick was having behind my back. The same guy who came into my house year after year pretending to be my friend in his own words, said that he was only doing the podcast for fans and for money. This is completely valid. Dick's argument against it was that he thinks it was pretty clear he only considered it a business relationship. That doesn't matter. Regardless of whether or not Dick thinks that he was pretending or not, the fact of the matter is that Dick did talk behind his back and say he hated him. It's perfectly valid that someone would not want to work with you after that. After the podcast ended, he said that I deleted the website. Not true. I created most of the content on the website. Why the f would I delete it? Dick's job was to maintain WordPress, and there were dozens of plugins that weren't being updated. He was negligent, so I converted the old site to static HTML, which is faster and more secure. I even paid for it myself out of my pocket. The old RSS feed costs money, guys, and can't stay up forever, so I uploaded all the files to SoundCloud so you can listen to them indefinitely. You're welcome. Everything here is true. I see no problems in this segment. I will grant, however, that it was handled improperly because the fans weren't really notified of what was going on. So really, this would not have been controversial if he had just told us what he was doing at the time. He said he emailed me about this and I didn't respond. So I shoot, I fire off an email to Maddox. Hey man, I got a big problem with this. Here's the feed link. So I get no response to that. Huh, that's weird because I definitely responded. So I get no response to that. Dick's been withholding financial records from me for quite some time, so I responded to him and asked him to send me those records. His refusal to send me these forms is suspicious, especially considering the fact that I found discrepancies in his accounting in the past. So Maddox did reply, so Dick's claim that he got no response is objectively a lie. However, Maddox's suspicion that the finances haven't been handled correctly isn't necessarily supported here. He should have been a lot more detailed with these claims. But this is a he said, she said. Maddox is allowed to suspect that Dick did something wrong with the finances. Maddox is not lying for having this suspicion. Then he started lying about things he didn't even need to lie about. He started telling people he didn't know anything about my new network. Huh, my bad. I guess I should have sent him something like an email on April 5th, going into detail with a bullet pointed list and a strategy. Oh wait, I did. This is kind of trivial, and I feel that Dick did refute it effectively because he said his justification for saying he didn't know anything about the network was that the information was limited and kind of vague. This email does seem like it doesn't really have much detail about the new network, so Dick's claim is plausible. I could definitely say that Dick didn't lie about it, but really was just not accurate in his statement out of not thinking about it properly, because he definitely did know something about the new network, just not much. Then I found out that he was telling fans, without my knowledge, that it was okay to steal the bonus episodes, so I uploaded them all for free. So it's a bit of a leap to say that Dick said it was okay to pirate the episodes, but Dick does basically implicitly say, whatever, I'm not gonna do anything about it. So I'd say this one is kind of like half true and half not. However, I think that Dick whining about uploading the bonus episodes for free after the show died is pretty ridiculous. Should Maddox have asked him about it first? Yes, I think so. Should Dick have made a whole song and dance about it happening? No, it's not that big of a deal. Guys, we definitely had creative differences on the show, but it's misleading to say that I forbade the Titanic bit. That was one of my favorite bits on the show. I simply asked him not to tie it to the weekly voting because it would lead to a large number of fake votes in the database, and that's exactly what happened. So I asked him to find another way to do the bit on the show. In fact, I even sent him an email last December suggesting he bring the bit back. Dick tried to refute this by saying, oh, it wouldn't have been funny to use it any other place. And Sean even tried to get him on it, saying, so it's your way or the highway, more or less. And that's the truth that Dick didn't want to admit to. He was clearly sweating and trying to avoid the thing on the show. Maddox gave Dick a number of different ways he could have used the bit. Dick refused to compromise. Plenty of those things that Maddox suggested, for example, weekly contests, could have been hilarious places to put in the Titanic or Maddox Lost bit. Dick refused to do so. As I've said in a couple of previous videos, 
I think that it would have been better if Maddox had just let it slide and let Dick do the bit the way he wanted to. Accurate voting be damned. But I also think it's totally unreasonable for Dick to refuse to use the bit at all unless it's exactly his way. So to wrap this up, there are definitely two sides to every creative difference, but there aren't two sides to this. He lied about the reason the podcast ended. He lied about me deleting the website. He lied about the financial forms. He lied about the network. He lied about the bonus episodes. He lied about the Titanic bit. And he's unprofessional and he talks behind people's backs. Okay, so while not all those claims are totally verifiable, it's clear that he does have some legitimate grievances here. Particularly the last thing, it's very, very bad for a co-host to be talking smack about the other co-host behind his back on the internet or anywhere else. You don't want to work even in a business capacity with someone who does something like that. Plain and simple. Oh, and one other thing. He used to complain about me editing the episodes. The reason I edited them is because he would say things that were incompatible with my values. Really upsets me that it's that it's it's that not that responsibility isn't put on her. Here is, and we're telling people this. I do want to add something just to the last point you made, which is they said that uh, we should stop telling women that it's their responsibility to protect themselves. It look, is. Look, well, to an extent, yes. A hundred percent it is. No, dick, it's not. Dude, You're yes, a fucking bullshit. No, no. If, you, if you pass out drunk at a party or whatever, you shouldn't expect to get raped. Yes, that's fucking, you fucking should. Oh, dude, big foul. No, you can't say that's fucking bullshit. That's absolutely bullshit. And in case you don't think this is serious... His show's own message board maintains a rape list. Notice that Maddox did not say his official board. They made the claim that Maddox said that in episode 19 of The Dick Show. It was not said. He said the show's own board. It is indeed the show's own HN board. However, it is not run by Dick Masterson, and Dick Masterson has nothing to do with it. It is completely a fan board. So indeed... Maddox is wrong to cite this, it's not an effective argument, because it's just some dick fan who posted this rape thread. However, it does speak to the fact that there are some real pieces of work within the dick fan base. The dick show has tried to claim repeatedly that it was probably Maddox or some other person who knows Maddox who posted that rape thread. That's ridiculous. A fan of the dick show posted that rape list. It was removed at some point for damage control, but at some point, some fan of the dick show did make that thread. It's pretty despicable. Of course, it's 8chan, so you can expect people to be despicable, because they've got complete anonymity. It's a bit disingenuous, however, for Maddox to try to paint Dick as someone who has little to no concern for people getting sexually assaulted. I believe Dick when he says that he's completely against sexual assault. It's pretty ridiculous to assume that he thinks it's just okay to sexually assault people. However, it's extrapolating a lot to say that that's what Maddox is saying. All that Maddox objectively says in this video is that his values don't allow him to publish an opinion that women should be completely responsible for what happens to them if they get drunk at a party. I don't really agree with cutting it out personally, but if Maddox wanted to cut that out because it's against his values, I can respect that. It's really up in the air whether this video is meant to insinuate that Dick is just totally okay with sexual assault. To assume that that's what Maddox is saying is not a smart thing to do, and it's not critical thinking either. But to be fair, this piece that he ends the video with is pretty darn bad argumentation. I'm sure Maddox knew when he posted this video that the Dick Chan... I mean the... 8chan board for the dick show isn't run by dick himself if he didn't know that then he should have done more research about it all in all this video is mostly truthful there's a few shaky claims but a lot of what was said here is pretty valid it's not clear whether or not maddox was actually trying to paint dick as rape sympathizer or whether he's just trying to paint dick as misogynistic and not tough enough on sexual assault but either way, having an opinion does not make you a liar. It means you have an opinion. The only really disingenuous thing about this whole video is the fact that he shows this 8chan board and acts like it's connected to Dick Masterson when it's not. But besides that, there's no egregious misleading in this video. Now, see y'all in Dick and Max 9 when I have another co-host. We will go back to the regularly scheduled format and we'll go talk about Dick 19 and Maddox 19. Hope you'll like it. Yo, it's King Critic. Watch out for his alien gun.